about this is I make a lot of sounds with my voice that they don't come through the speaker. It's embarrassing. I'm like, <laughs> So this 
first mask is, uh, I guess I'm calling it dither, uh, because uh, it kind of slowly opens up the, the path. Uh, so you get kind of a gradual increase in volume. So it's got a um, uh, servo motor here, like an airplane servo. Um, the, I think they use them to change the rudder on, on a servo airplane. And there's a gear and a little um, belt, a belt and a pulley system. And then this same little control box uh, through the Arduino uh, has a knob control. Um, I also put a little microphone on the motor so you can actually just hear the kind of ring. Now, this one, so same idea, seals are in your mouth. You know, it's kind of a slow increase in sound. Sort of sound. I'm sure that there's a resonant frequency in your skull uh, or different parts of your body that actually vibrate. Turns out, they I really found that on my voice box I get the best sound. And I've got four different mics so that you know you could just use one, but I think to like actually do these sounds like in stereo, you know, like miking a show with two mics. So and I put all this uh, silicone on here so that it wouldn't pick up a lot of outside. Um, uh, sound. It kind of isolates it from uh, whatever would be going on outside. It's a little hard to swallow. <sighs> I think just the nature of it being right on your voice box gives you uh, kind of a different sound palette. It's like really direct. Like if this thing isn't pressed right on my voice box, right where it vibrates, it doesn't really work. You know, these piezos, uh, that's how they work. So by the vibration that's created on the actual surface of the piezo, that's what creates the sound. So th th this is what I'm doing. Which is, I think, like a digital version of what that is.
going with this one.